Welcome back, Sports Tonight on Channels Television. It's now 83 more days to the 2018 FIFA World Cup. I keep asking who's been working with us on this journey. 83 more days. The FIFA, the fever is here. Alfred Okoligwe joins us now live in the studio. Alfred, it's good to have you on Sports Tonight. Exciting evening. <laughs> Who know we're doing this? Nigeria is uh, playing. Nigeria is playing uh, a Poland there, mm. and what they start for for both teams. Uh, the Poland is just showing that at mm. home, and we know what threat they bring uh, to the beautiful game. Uh, mm. We we ranked ahead of us. Have one of the most leather striker in Lewandowski, mm. and very early in that game, he has announced he, himself. What, 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 he announced himself. He the woodwork. Um, the operator is still good. Less hopefully. Um, the Eagles in their new kit, I'm um, looking a bit uh, dark on the on the screen, but it's beautiful just to see that um, at least when it comes to the aesthetics of the team in terms of appearance, mm. they're doing well uh, in that regard. We'll and, uh, we just this is the beginning mm. of what playing at the World Cup is all about. We'll this try. is just the beginning. We'll it's try. the first of two friendlies. Mm. We're playing this in Russia. The next one is going to be in uh, in um, in England, and uh, hopefully the boys will just uh, go through their pieces. The compliments of the guys who could not make this one. Hopefully, in the next game, yeah, join the there. team it and we'll begin to see a um, clearer picture of how the team. Looks that's like. right, and everything is geared towards having a good World Cup campaign, and that's what uh, this segment uh, tries to expose. It is three more days to the 2018 FIFA World Cup. The Super Eagles of Nigeria they are getting ready uh, right now. They're being involved um, in a friendly game against the Polish national team. Um, it's not about winning at this stage. It's also counting down for them. Kids manager, come. People like the kids. They take it. I say, oh, what are we also uh, looking forward to? So it's still goalless uh, in Wroclaw. Uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria taking on Poland. Uh, goalless. We're monitoring that one. Lewandowski showed himself big time. Uh, but the woodwork said no. Uh, so whatever happens in that one, trust us, we'll bring it to you. But a lot of ex-internationals have been reacting to Nigeria's draw and uh, preparations for the 2018 FIFA World Cup of been trying to bring them to you so that uh, you can listen to them. Some of them are experienced because they played at the World Cup proper. Julius Ahawa also played at the World Cup and he has some words for this current Super Eagles team. Let's listen to him. The World Cup is the highest tournament uh, that the player will aspire to play in. So this is the opportunity. If they are being selected, they, this is the opportunity to show that they value the national team, they value the country. By wearing that green, white, green, they should give everything, you know, to the country. Straight up, straight up, Julius Aoua says uh, it's an opportunity to show you value your country. Alfred, most importantly, an opportunity to show that you love your country. Really, I, I mean, it can, there cannot be any better expression than, you know, play for your national team. I think on the players, they now they realize that it's a big honor uh, to really don the national mm. team jersey. Um, of all the players in the world, there are, I was really looking through the list of players that will miss the World Cup. Mm. Uh, Gigi Buffon mm. will not be, uh, Virgil van Dijk, uh, Cellini. You know, guys, some very, very names, illustrious names. They names. will not be at the World Cup. Yeah. No. So if you find yourself in this very, very um, exclusive mm. of somewhat a collection of players that represent that, I think it's a, it's a great honor. Yeah. And beyond all of that, um, Julius Awa talked about, uh, you know, uh, patriotism. Um, lately, I mean, the composition of this team, how they go about their business is something that we really need to commend. But Genaro have not really opened the door to those who didn't play too much of a part getting to the World Cup. So he's kept fit with these boys. Mm. And be outside of the field of play, which is the organizational and administrative part of it, we're beginning to get it right. Months, days, weeks to the World Cup, we've talked about taking care of everything that has to do with Alliance, what players get, what players get at the end mm. of the day, what the team mm. gets, and all, all of that. All of those things are not issues out anymore for us. They're out of the way. Out out of the way. Out so of the way. it's just left for... And, and, and besides, the guys in this team is peopled by a lot of guys who grew up in the European setting. Mm -hmm. where you know how things work. You, mm -hmm. Ahead of time, these things are talked about. We know the plan. We know where to go. So with that mentality at the back of their mind, with the likes of the, the white wall, as they call them, uh, at, at the back, Kruzekong, of course. Right, Oibo. Oibo. Oibo, 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 Oibo. 
It will be another. Mm. Um, Ebuehi, these are guys who perhaps professionals. Their background is a bit different. Mm. It is this is how we do it there. Okay, how do we? Uh, the manager, the kit man. How do we do this? The psychologist, what is there to be done? Mm. Team secretary, uh, the accountant, who gets what the. I mean, that, all of that, and beyond all of this, on top of these organizational structures that we put in place, you have a man who has experience, who comes with the efficiency of the Germans, I mean the coach, uh, Gennaro Rohr, uh, who is very detailed in his planning. <laughs> I don't think any of the coaches who have around is that detailed when they come to, to, to plan it. For those who've worked closely mm. with him, will tell you he that he life. leaves nothing to chance. Mm. He leaves nothing to chance. And for him, he's just doing his job. And I think the vibes from this team is, is only getting better. So patriotism, add to that, add to a very good environment. It's we can everything. Only, we can really get you a, know, a patriotism, very good I, I think when you have that, because sometimes when you see the Germans run, you see the Italians play their football, the Brazilians, you could see that they are doing it for the country, for what they represent. Julius Tahawa would have gone on to say, uh, you need to have hunger, you need to shoot the ball well, you need to score goals, defend well. He says you have to give everything. It's the World Cup. This is the biggest stage. As mm. a footballer, this is the biggest stage you can showcase. I, I mean, if you, your CV is reeled out there at the end of your career and you didn't go to the World Cup, we have players who even went to the World Cup and did it with Lionel Messi for one. If there is any chink in that, it's Amo. Mm. Uh, where you say, okay, Lionel Messi has won everything. Mm. It's still references are being, you know, references being made to, you know, winning the World Cup. Of That's course. how rated, that is what you do to you. Serious yeah. business. The Cameroon team that became the first team to get to the quarterfinals of the World Cup, we still celebrate them today. Yeah. We will start reading names, the likes of uh, Xiri Makanaki, oh the <laughs> Xiri Makanaki, Stevie Toto, and all mm. that. These guys in their rights are legend. Now, if these boys can go one step better, be the first African team to make it to the semi-final of the World Cup. You know what That's I mean? Right. To be awesome. They are named from Cape to Cairo. From Everybody who talk about you, the names will be written in the history books of football, not just in Nigeria, but all over the world.